Hello, good morning. First of all, I'd like to, to express my gratitude to the scientific committee for the kind invitation to be present in this forum. I will speak about the use of Chinese herbal medicine in Portugal. So, many people in Portugal regularly use traditional Chinese medicine and other traditional medicines either alone or in addition to conventional treatments. Most traditional medicines used by Portuguese people is in the complementary way. But the prevalence of the use of the traditional medicines in Portugal is not really known. In Portugal, the most popular type of traditional complementary integrative medicine is herbal medicine. But the use of medicinal plants in the context of the traditional Chinese medicine is not relevant. However, there is a resurgence of the interest of in older traditional medicine systems due to the growing interest in the contact with the nature in a biosustainable manner. In Portugal, legislation on pharmaceutical products for human use also applies to herbal medicines. These herbal medicines can be licensed as medicines in the same way as conventional medicines, as traditional herbal medicinal products, the most common form, and even regulated as controlled medicines. In my country, herbal medicinal products are defined as any medicinal product exclusively containing as active ingredients one or more herbal substances, one or more herbal preparations, or a combination of the two. These herbal medicinal products are prepared from plant material, usually in the dry form, containing a wide range of natural metabolites, some of which are marker compounds with or without biological activity. Companies seeking to bring herbal medicinal products to the market in Portugal should follow the national processes overseen by Infarmed. Infarmed is the government agency accountable to the Health Ministry that evaluates, authorizes, and regulates and controls human medicines as well as health products, namely medical devices and cosmetics for the protection of public health. There are three main regulatory pathways for bringing an herbal medicinal product to market in Portugal. The traditional use registration, the well-established use marketing authorization, and the standalone or mixed application. In the European Pharmacopeia and also in Portuguese Pharmacopeia, we can find the rules and the monographs for analysis of the quality of the herbal drugs and herbal drugs preparations. These rules are not exactly the same of the rules of Chinese Pharmacopeia. Last official data from 2016 describe about 30% of herbal drugs and preparations in the European Pharmacopeia. Until 2020, 73 Chinese herbal monographs are already established on European Pharmacopeia, but more than 300 Chinese herbal drugs are described as used in traditional Chinese medicine in Europe. So, this kind of medicines are used in different forms on the Portuguese market. These forms are not exactly the same described in the European Pharmacopeia and are mainly constituted by herbal drugs occurring in crude and processed form and also preparations derived 
from herbal drugs which comprise crude or processed drugs together with other ingredients like honey, ginger and other excipients. Scientific guidelines has been elaborated by the European Medicines Agency and also European monographs and list of entities concerning the herbal medicinal products. These monographs are related with the principal herbal drugs, essential oils and some mixtures of herbal medicines used in Europe and also covers substances that may be used in, by the European citizen but are not primarily part of the Western medicine systems such as traditional Chinese medicine and Indian medicines. Herbal products monographs provide to Infarmed and to the health authorities of the European Union a recommendations base for a specific assessment of each herbal product. Herbal monographs are divided into sections well-established used and traditional use, a simplified registration accepted based on sufficient safety data and plausible efficacy. This herbal product must be safely used for at least 30 years, including at least 15 years within the European Union and the indications that are suitable for the registration of this kind of medicines are limited because the legislation excludes the need for prescription supervision or monitoring by a medical doctor. So, the principal therapeutic indications are gastrointestinal disorders, sleep disorders and fatigue and weakness. 164 monographs are accepted until now in Europe, but few concerning Chinese herbal medicines. The most used herbal drugs of the traditional Chinese medicine are in the European pharmacopoeia, but only one, ginseng, is considered to European medicine agents as suitable for registration based on its long-standing use and adequate for treatment of tiredness and weakness. In Portugal, no traditional Chinese herbal products have been registered as herbal medicinal products until now. Most medicinal plants, including Chinese medicinal plants, are used as dietary supplements and not as herbal medicinal products. Dietary supplements are considered food and they are concentrated sources of nutrients or other substances with a nutritional or physiologic effect. Food supplements can be marketed in the dose forms such as pills, tablets, capsules, liquids, and measured in measured doses. This kind of food is adequated for healthy population and not for sick persons. But plant-based dietary supplements are not only used by healthy people in the prevention of different pathologies, but also in treatment of these alone or together with other medications. The competent authority of the placing on the market of a food supplement 
is the DGIV. The DGIV does not require testing of dietary supplements prior to marketing. Herbal medicines are rarely described by doctors or used in an hospital environment, although the use of health products plant-based included traditional Chinese medicine is widespread. Herbal Chinese medicines are prescribed by practitioners of traditional Chinese medicine and also being sold in a few dedicated stores allocated to specific brands. Other companies sell in herbalist or other phytotherapy stores or by mail in Portugal. In attending the quality and safety of rare materials, manufactured products and medical devices, plant-based issues, the Instituto Português da Qualidade, Portuguese Institute of Quality, was created a technical commission, CT212, dedicated to the traditional and complementary medicine. This commission integrates 20 members from the industry and commerce, from administrative office like Infarmed and DGIV, and universities and technological centers, and also non profit organizations. This city is monitoring the ISO TC2. 49 dedicated to the traditional medicine and the rules and votation is made also by Portugal based in the opinion of the elements of this commission. Related to the constraints, we can see the research about the quality, safety and efficacy of herbal medicinal products, including traditional Chinese herbal medicines. The fact of the, the considerable differences that can be found in the overall composition of the products when comparing a classical traditional way of processing like the caution versus any new formulation like lanols, and the fact of the needed quality parameters of these traditional Chinese products are not often provided by the enterprises. A promising step forward for the general acceptance of traditional Chinese medicine products in Portugal should be the industrial production of defined and specific extracts from single traditional Chinese herbal drugs or even, even from complex mixtures of several herbal drugs recognized as herbal drugs or herbal drugs preparations by the European Directorate for the Quality of Medicines and Healthcare and or Informed. Irrespective of divergent regulatory frameworks and requirements, setting of parameters that ensure the quality, safety and efficacy of Chinese herbal medicine selling in Portugal is needed. Transfer and dissemination of the knowledge about traditional Chinese herbal medicines to public and health professionals in special concerning quality, safety and efficacy are also needed. Portuguese consumers are putting increasing pressure on companies to ensure their products are made according to social and environmental standards. So, well-developed products 
environmental friendly will be more accepted and will have an economic advantage. Thank you very much for your attention.